Tuttle, a marketing and advertising first year student at Leeds Beckett University. In this vlog, I'm going to be talking about marketing myths. Marketing myths are very important for marketing managers to understand in order for them to achieve their marketing aims. The main marketing myth I'll be going into detail in in this vlog is a satisfied customer is a loyal customer. Managers often confuse satisfaction with loyalty. Just because a consumer may be satisfied with a company, it does not necessarily mean they'll remain loyal to them. Supermarkets are a great example of where this is the case. For example, a customer could usually do their local weekly shop at Sainsbury's. However, they see a specific deal for Tesco's. For instance, spend £60 or more and receive coupons for 10p off every litre of fuel. This could persuade consumers to switch companies due to them receiving better benefits, such as money off. This does not mean that they weren't satisfied with Sainsbury's, despite them not being loyal to the brand. A lot of factors are involved when choosing supermarkets, for example, price, location and convenience. This means it may be harder for them to receive customer loyalty. In order to do this, a company should be marketing orientated. Marketing orientation states that all marketing should be ethical and sustainable. It is everybody's responsibility and it is a way of doing business. Marketing should place the customer at the heart of all business decisions. Organisations that do this are said to embrace the marketing concept. Those that embrace the marketing concept are said to be marketing orientated. As stated by Gosney and Richardson in 2010, there are lots of benefits of being market orientated. For example, an increase in sales and profitability, satisfied customers and an increase in customer loyalty. This is why it is important for supermarkets such as Sainsbury's to be market orientated and give the customers what they want in order to achieve customer loyalty, not just satisfaction, thus making them more profitable. Here is a graph created by Gosney and Richardson that goes more into detail about the benefits of market orientation. This graph shows that a healthy dialogue with clients benefits all members of a business, including suppliers, customers and workers. As you can see, if you continually give customers what they want, they are likely to return as well as deliver good word of mouth to their friends, families and colleagues. This enhances sales turnover and profitability, as well as creating satisfaction and loyalty. However, in some cases, loyalty is simply down to customer apathy. This is where the benefits of changing supplier doesn't outweigh the hassle of moving. An example of this is changing mobile networks. A lot of the time, it is much simpler to remain on the same phone network, such as EA, rather than going through all of the hassle and research that needs to take place in order to change the network. This suggests that there are multiple reasons for customer loyalty, and therefore, marketing managers cannot just rely on achieving customer satisfaction. It is fair to say that satisfied customers are more likely to keep returning to the business, creating customer loyalty. Loyal customers are more likely to create good word of mouth, stimulating and bringing new customers to the company. Although this does support the myth, what I have spoken about throughout this video has hopefully proven that without a company being marketing orientated, customer loyalty levels will drop as the customer is not the main priority. There are many other marketing myths, including a strong brand is invincible and a big name brand can sustain a higher price. The main reason I've chosen to go into detail into this particular myth is because I believe that it is the most important myth for marketing managers to understand. This is because if companies just focus on customer satisfaction, although it may be able to keep some existing customers, it doesn't attract new customers. This means that the business will not continue to grow and as a result, profit will not increase. As previously stated, there are a lot of factors that create customer loyalty and therefore, if a business just wants to focus on one factor, they are less likely to achieve what they want. Marketing managers understanding all of the marketing myths that are out there will help them meet the customer needs of the customer-centric market. By putting the customer at the heart of the business, it will therefore make the business more profitable. In this way, marketing myths can be used to help a business become more successful. Thank you for watching my vlog and I hope it has helped you understand a little bit more about the importance of marketing myths.